Hi folks, this week we are getting started with your literature with a flash fiction series, um, meaning these are pieces of flash fiction, very, very short, about a page long, um, that focus on this coming of age theme or the loss of innocence that our first unit of the course focuses on. Um, and these stories are also united in that they deal with specific cultural experiences um, related to particular um, ethnic and cultural backgrounds. Uh, now, as you're reading these stories, the things that you want to be looking for are, of course, those elements that suggest that coming of age moment, that epiphany or that realization about life. You also want to be thinking about the way that all of these unique experiences have universal sort of uh, elements and speak to each other and have common <clears throat> ideas that are not specific to those experiences, but specific to all of our experiences. So the first story that you're reading is Alice Walker's The Flowers. This was published in 1973. Um, Alice Walker is a very famous American writer known for the color purple, among many other things. This is a story about a young African-American girl who's living in the Jim Crow South that discovers something um, uh, that discovers something that alters her perception in the woods. Um, the next story that you're reading is Amy Tan's Fish Cheeks, which was published in 1987. Amy Tan is also a very famous American author, um, most famous for the Joy Luck Club. Um, she is a Chinese American uh, who writes about her experience as uh, her cultural identity and that experience. Um, she's very known for um, these stories that deal with conflicts between parents and children or, or generations of the next, as well as conflicts between her and the society that she exists in. Um, and Fish Cheeks is about a 14-year-old um, a girl who um, is dealing with the shame, of uh, dealing with shame based on, on, on her experience. And then the last story that you're reading is Judith Ortiz Colfer's Volar. Um, Judith Ortiz Colfer is um, a Puerto Rican immigrant. Her parents immigrated from Puerto Rico. Um, she's an American author that writes about that experience of living as the child of, of immigrants, um, as somebody who doesn't feel like they fit in as a Puerto Rican or as an American. Um, and she, these, this is what she often writes about. Um, her, she has... Um, many different short stories and novels that deal with her life in the barrio. Um, and Valar is a story about a young girl who is um, fantasizing about being a superhero and being able to take away some of the um, some of the bad things that she can sense are, are going on um, for her family and for her parents. Now one thing to note um, as we start reading literature and getting into close reading and theme is that although all three of these stories have authors with very specific cultural experiences and all of those cultural experiences parallel those of the authors, the authors are not writing about themselves. They are not in the story. Um, these are not their experiences. So remember, we have to distinguish between the author that tells the story or the author that writes the story and the narrator that tells the story. So while most authors are going to write about what they know and what they know is what they have experienced, they are not writing about their own experience, uh, which is an important distinction to make. So I look forward to seeing what you think about these three texts as we get started with our literature for the course.